Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonso. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at Tamiris, the queen who defeated Cyrus the Great. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with special editions on Thursdays. Moving right along, mythology tells us one thing while archaeology tells us another. Who was Queen Tamiris? Where was her kingdom? How were her armies able to defeat the Achmedinid Empire and kill Cyrus the Great King? Today we will answer these questions as we take a look at this enigmatic ruler. Tamiris reigned over the Masagetai, an Iranian Saka people of Central Asia. The Masagetai were one of the many Scythian peoples who inhabited the steppes. Her name is of Scythian origin and it means family. Tamiris was the widowed wife of the king of the Masagetai, whom she succeeded as queen of the tribe after he died. When the founder of the Achmedinid Empire, Cyrus, asked for her hand in marriage, Tamiris understood the intent of the king and how he thought he could acquire her kingdom through this type of marriage. She fully understood Cyrus's aims and rejected his proposal. On the advice of the Lydian king Croesus, Cyrus responded to Tamiris's rejection by deciding to invade Masagetai. When Cyrus started building a bridge on the Araxes River with the intent of attacking the Masagetai, Tamiris cautioned him. The queen advised him to remain satisfied with ruling his own kingdom and allow her to rule her realm. Cyrus's initial assault was routed by the Masagetai. Cyrus then set up a fancy banquet with large amounts of wine in the tents of his camp as an ambush and withdrew. The Masagetai, led by Tamiris's son and commander of the army, took the spoils of victory. Since the Masagetai, like most Iron Age steppe nomads, were used to drinking kumis, which is fermented mare's milk, they easily became drunk on wine. The Masagetai were also fond of cannabis, and as they celebrated and feasted into a drunken stupor, Cyrus returned with his army and slaughtered a third of the Masagetian forces. Prince Sparagapses was captured. The prince then asked Cyrus to free him. Once the king acquiesced to his pleas, the prince killed himself. After Tamiris found out about the death of her son, she sent Cyrus an angry message in which she called the wine which caused the death of her son and the destruction of her army a drug. She cursed that wine which was consumed and made her people insane. Yet with their breath, the soldiers cast evil curses on Cyrus. She then demanded that he leave her land or she would also curse him. Cyrus only scoffed at such nonsense. This then led to the queen to curse him by swearing upon the sun she would give him more blood than he could drink. Tamiris herself then led the Masagetian army into war. During the next battle, the Masagetians soundly defeated the Persians and their army. And what about Cyrus? The great king was killed during the battle. Once Tamiris found his limp corpse, she then severed his head and stuffed it in a bag filled with blood. And just as she had cursed him, she proclaimed, drink your fill of this blood. There is an alternate version of the death of Cyrus. According to the historian Cetesius, Cyrus did die in battle and he was killed by Derbises, who were a sub-tribe of the Masagetai, who had allied themselves with Queen Tamiris. Cetesius stated that during the battle, Cyrus was mortally wounded. He endured for three days and then died. Granted, this version of the war is most likely closer to the truth, yet I am sure that you will agree, the curse of Queen Tamiris makes for much better copy. And what of Queen Tamiris? Little is further known about Tamiris after the war with Cyrus. By around 520 before the Common Era and possibly earlier, her tribe was ruled by a king named Shuksha. He also rebelled against the Persian Empire until one of the successors of Cyrus, the Achmedinid king Darius I, carried out a campaign against the Saka people during which he conquered the Masagetai. Once Darius captured Shuksha, he replaced him with a ruler who was loyal to Achmedinid power. This brings us to the end of Tamiris, the queen who defeated Cyrus the Great. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. If you enjoyed this video, please consider becoming a channel sponsor. Your support will enable us to continue providing quality videos and buying me a coffee always makes my day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Traveler's Tales. 
This really is the best way to help our channel grow. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos.